Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa, and if that rumble sounds familiar and this look of this car looks familiar to me, you've been here for a minute. So this is my favorite project car I've ever built, my M4 competition car that I've lost. And a big thank you to my buddy for who, who still had it when he got back here in the game for a set of Corsa after a couple years. And he had it, so we're back in my old faithful, my favorite car I've ever built. And we're gonna go shake it down again. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll just find the description box below. Let's get to it. So my M4, my wide body M4, was probably my favorite project that I ever built here in Aceta Corsa. Took a lot of time taking a factory M4 and gutting it out and doing all the little quirky stuff to make it a full blown out comp car. Never got a chance to drive it in comps, but I think it's about the time this car comes back. So, we got that nice V8, so we're going to go full send. Here at my favorite track, got the Energy Innovations wheel here for the nostalgia purposes. We are here at the Daytona ESDA circuit to give this car a run. See what we can do with it. So hopefully we can get a good run with this car off the rip. A little bit late of initiation, but oh, yep. I feel like this car feels exactly how I remember it used to feel. It's like riding a bike with this car. Kind of back to. Uh, where I was when I was building it. A little bit wobbly there, but you know, we're on a older uh, VDC physics. I'm gonna run this one third person. An older VDC physics and base tunes and stuff back from when I was running different wheels. So now we gotta fully update everything on this car. Probably update the uh, model and everything as well. That was a really hard entry definitely uh, needs a little bit tweaking but kind of back in the saddle it's great to be back in this car I love this car so much I, I see a lot of people driving this car and a lot of people uh, still using this car so I was kind of sad when I lost everything and could not find it anymore did not have the drive link or anything so Great to finally get this car back and in my possession. Oh, that's better. I always tend to do a little grass tap there. Probably gonna take a look at one of these runs here in replay angle and tr hit another track up. Ah, oh, that was wider than I wanted to go. So definitely a very, very fun car. Great to have this car back and uh, super excited to get more with this car. So let's take a look at this run before we change tracks. If you guys want to keep seeing stuff here with this M4, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys have this car and you guys are still rocking it, let me know down below as well. I feel like this car is going to get a full update. Just change up some wheels, do some texturing changes and stuff like that. Oh yeah, so let's change up tracks. When I changed tracks, you guys kind of knew we were coming here to Orlando Speed World where I've done substantial testing with this car initially when I was first building this car with Addy and the guys from KNC and a um, bunch of different teams. So we're gonna go full send. Hopefully we don't hit the uh, chicane because it's such a big body car. Yep, kind of right where I left off. Riding that bank. I feel like that was a little wider than I should have been. That was actually a solid run, I think. I kind of just really want to take a look at that run first because that was uh, I feel like that was a pretty 
pretty stout run to start. Kind of where I left off here in uh, a set of Corsa with this car. Oh yeah, nice and high in the bank. We we're a little bit off there, but we managed to stay pretty much in the crease line. So we we're a little bit off over the hump. So let's see if we can't correct that. On this thing in third person. So like I said, definitely super excited and big thank you to my buddy for uh, getting me this car back. Yep, I love this car. It's so good. Almost makes me not want to build my Subaru and just continue driving this car. Cause I can still build the Subaru up too. All right, full send here, OSW. Bump transition kind of got me a little bit and threw me a little bit off there. But overall, not too, too bad. We're going to take this thing to one more track. Irwindale, California. Definitely a fun track as well. So super excited for FD this weekend. If you guys are too, let me know who you think is going to win. So full send here. Bigger chicanes in this one. I don't think I've ever had the chance to drive this track with this car. I've driven the other version of Urbandale all the time. Oh man, we kind of... I feel like we just backed it up. Oh, we kind of screwed that in. We kind of just backed it up into the wall. Oh, 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 yep. Up in the wall. So, I think we did back that up into the wall. We're going to go one run in third. Then we'll take a look at that first run before we end this episode off. Definitely excited, like I said, to have this car back on my game, in my roster. much better that run so let's take a look at the first one because i'm very curious how we went into that inner bank part we kind of it almost like we the initiation wasn't too bad we were kind of mid to high Yeah, we kind of like stepped it back into the wall and we kind of wall tapped it in there. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. As always, I think I have to come back and watch a big thank you come back from all the hiatus and stuff that I've been going through with some new games coming in the, here to the channel. So we're excited to bring you some new stuff and some new games. So as always, I thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys on the tracks.